Hello, everybody, and welcome to Catalepsy. I don't know what to expect here, but I do know that we're in it. So let's go. I hope you all don't mind how many spooky games I've been playing lately. We're just right into it, huh? What happens if I stand up? Oh! I die. Three objects to find. We found one object. Okay. This is genuinely pretty creepy. Proceed to the next room. two more objects to find. Here's one of them. Here's one of them. Ooh, quite awkwardly, I'll be honest. box for grabbing stuff is a little awkward. Alright. This is interesting. It's very simple, but interesting. I couldn't get the door open, so I guess we'll do that instead. So is it just like a procedurally... Oh. just getting like progressively weirder
where's the other item? I don't actually see it. I don't see the other item. I think it's up there, but I don't know how to get. I don't know how to spaghetti myself up there. And with that ghost standing right there, I have to wait until the ghost bumps off to somewhere else. It looks like it's up there, but how does one go about getting up there? And I know there's like, you know, reading to do with every item that you get, but I'm not doing that. I'm here for the MLG moves. I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. stuck. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not stuck anymore. Not completely anyway. Can I get out of the safe room? My Spaghetti is getting cold. I need to get through these rooms. But I do not find the last piece of the puzzle. I wonder how many levels there are. Where? Oh, where? Is the last item. Hmm. Oh, it was the fucking jack o' lantern. It was the jack o' lantern. Oh, that was it. That was short and sweet and creepy. That was actually, that that last level there was a little creepy. The uh, idea of having the uh, ghost not visible unless the flashlight is off and only visible through a, like a, 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 a Satan circle. <laughs> a, sa a Satan circle on the floor that's only visible in the dark. is It's an interesting way of doing things and I, I actually kind of dig it a lot. They could have done a lot more with having things that are only visible with the flashlight on. I think there may have been stuff like that, but I didn't see any of it. So, and with a short and simple game like this, I may not have missed very much. I just simply didn't read very much. But it is a good game. Good enough anyway. It's a good experience. The atmosphere was well done. The ghost itself is very cheesy. I will admit that. But... It doesn't have to be some kind of truly oozing, terrifying, horrible ghost type thing to really, like, get the point across, you know? The jump scare is really what, what gets you. And it's really only kind of going to get you, though, if, you know, you're not paying attention or if you have your flashlight on and you don't realize that that circle moves and then it creeps up on you while you're trying to fight with the admittedly bad collision in the game that's that's something that the developer needs to work on for sure if you watch this game dev for your next project try and work on your collision a little bit better get get collision and movement smoothed out a bit better and get uh interaction with objects just smoothed out a little bit better that key in level two was a pain in the ass to get to and frankly, there was nothing that indicated that I could open that closet door in level two because I couldn't get it to open except once. And I clicked a lot of times. 
So, other than that, though, like, you know, if this is, like, your first game or even just, like, an early project or just a quick project, it was well done. I couldn't do this. So, you know, I'm just going from the gameplay, the player's perspective here. So, not the perspective of anyone who, who understands anything about game development. So, regardless... I mean, congratulations, you made a game, and you have an eye for atmosphere. That's the strong point here, is the atmosphere and the sound. The sound is pretty good, actually. Like, this is a nice little little ditty going on here at the end. And, like, the menu screen, I like it. So, anyway, this was Catalepsy, and it's a fascinating experience, I think. Very simple, straightforward, grab-the-items kind of a game. A little treasure hunt type game, but... Not a bad one. And it had a good spooky atmosphere. I, I enjoyed this. <clears throat> anyway, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Feel free to dislike if you want to. But I will see you in the next one. Provided the ghosts don't get to you. Remember. Don't let the ghosts get to you. Turn the lights off. They might be behind you, or they might be in front of you, and you just can't see them, but they're coming for you, and make sure that you survive. Don't let the ghosts get you, and if you survive, then I'll see you next week. Farewell. <laughs>